skies above Nevada's desert, something impossible took flight. Not a bird, not a plane, but a shadow given form. They called it the F-117 Nighthawk. But for years, it didn't officially exist. The world's first operational stealth fighter, a technological marvel that revolutionized aerial warfare and solidified America's dominance in the skies. In 1975, while the Cold War gripped the world, American military planners faced a terrifying reality. The Soviet Union had built the most sophisticated air defense network in history. Conventional aircraft couldn't penetrate it. The age of American air superiority was ending. But in a secretive facility known as Skunk Works, a brilliant engineer named Ben Rich was about to change warfare forever. His team had discovered something extraordinary, a mathematical formula that could make an aircraft nearly invisible to radar. The solution wasn't smooth and sleek like every other plane in history. It was ugly. It was angular. But those strange, faceted surfaces were precisely calculated to scatter radar waves in harmless directions. Like a diamond cut to bend light, every angle was crucial. On June 18, 1981, something emerged from Skunk Works that looked more like an alien spacecraft than an airplane. The engineers called it Hopeless Diamond. But there was nothing hopeless about it, the prototype that would evolve into the F-117. Imagine building an aircraft that defies aerodynamic convention, unstable by design. So unstable that no human could fly it without constant computer assistance. Painted not just black, but in a special radar-absorbent material so toxic that maintenance crews needed protective suits just to touch it. The pilots who would fly this machine had to be special. They were called bandits. Elite aviators willing to fly a classified aircraft that officially didn't exist, in pitch darkness, with no radar, relying only on thermal imaging and faith in their computers. For six years, they flew only in darkness. From the secret base at Tonopah, Nevada, a place so restricted it didn't appear on any map. Every Sunday night, unmarked planes would ferry maintenance crews into the base. Every Friday morning, they disappear again. Officially, none of it was happening. The F-117 pilots lived in a world of opposites. They were elite fighters who couldn't tell their families what they flew. When we were a secret program, we would go to work on Mondays, come home on Fridays. And the families were never allowed to, to know where we were going, what we were doing. All they knew was we flew A-7s. I think they thought we were going to Hawaii for the week, which would have been nice, but we were going to the middle of a desert. They operated in total secrecy, but trained relentlessly. Each mission was a choreographed dance of precision, taking off at exactly 31 minutes after sunset, landing before dawn, never leaving a trace. Then came January 17, 1991. Baghdad, the most heavily defended city in the Middle East. Surface-to-air missiles and radar installations protected every critical target. But at 2.51 am local time, something unprecedented happened. 22 F-117s took off from Saudi Arabia. Their mission, to open the Gulf War by striking directly at Baghdad's command and control centers. No jamming aircraft, no escort fighters, just 22 black jets slipping through the night like ghosts. The sky over Baghdad erupted in anti-aircraft fire. A web of searchlights swept the clouds, but they were shooting at shadows. The F-117s slipped through untouched, delivering their payloads with surgical precision. In that single night, they struck 28 of the most heavily defended targets in Iraq, and every pilot returned home. Throughout the war, F-117s flew less than 2% of the total combat sorties. But they struck more than 40% of the strategic targets. Not a single Nighthawk was lost to enemy fire. The impossible had become routine. The aircraft that wasn't supposed to exist had just revolutionized aerial warfare. In 42 days of combat, the F-117 proved that stealth wasn't just a technological achievement, it was a paradigm shift. The age of seeing your enemy before engaging them was over. The future had arrived, and it was invisible. After the Gulf War, the F-117 emerged from the shadows. The world now knew of its existence, but its missions remained shrouded in secrecy. From the Balkans to Baghdad, whenever America needed to strike with absolute precision, the Nighthawk led the way. But even ghosts can bleed. On March 27, 1999, over Serbia, the impossible happened. 
A Serbian air defense officer, Colonel Zoltan Dani, achieved what many thought couldn't be done. Using a modified Soviet-era radar and incredible tactical patience, his forces shot down an F-117. The wreckage of the downed Nighthawk became a propaganda victory for Serbia. But it also revealed a crucial truth about stealth technology. It wasn't invisibility. It was probability. Every mission was still a calculated risk, a deadly game of mathematics and skill. Yet the F-117's legacy lives on in every stealth aircraft built since. Its DNA can be found in the angular surfaces of the F-22 Raptor, the curved edges of the B-2 Spirit, and the complex geometry of the F-35 Lightning. What began as a hopeless diamond became the cornerstone of modern air power. In 2008, the Air Force officially retired the F-117. But like many stories about the Nighthawk, this wasn't the whole truth. For years afterward, mysterious black jets would still be spotted in the desert skies. The program that didn't officially exist continued not officially existing. Even today, some F-17s continue to fly classified missions, testing new technologies and training new generations of pilots. They serve as adversary aircraft, teaching the Air Force how to fight against stealth technology, the very capability they pioneered. The numbers tell a story. 59 aircraft built, over 78,000 flight hours, countless classified missions. It showed us that sometimes, the most powerful weapon isn't what you can see, but what you can't. Today, most F-117s rest in climate-controlled hangars or museums, their black paint still absorbing light just as it once absorbed radar waves. But their greatest achievement lives on. The knowledge that somewhere in the night sky, right now, there might be something flying overhead that you cannot see. Something that started with a mathematical formula and changed the face of warfare forever. The F-117 Nighthawk, the plane that proved sometimes the best way to win a fight, is to never be seen at all 